Um, we should show this uh, break. Yeah, sorry. To scroll down. Break over You healing. can uh, switch no. it tonight, and uh, can tonight. you can perhaps try yeah. try what I said. Like, uh, give no. full gas, full throttle. Uh, apply slight brake and try to keep the car, uh, the truck moving. I'm gonna quickly try it again to have more, maybe even more overheating. Yeah, it, it overheats. It, it overheats really. Uh, it can get much brighter at the night time. I also overheated my brakes following you. <laughs> oh yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm Let just giving see. gas and Breaking. Yeah, now mine are much brighter now. You can yeah, pass yeah, pass pass uh, the car, then I can see it. Oh, no, but, but your yeah, star don't you look cannot, overheated. Yeah, you you cannot see mine because it's ah, so. not synchronized. Ah, so yet. yeah, okay. But uh, how it seems is like um, with the hubcaps, it's harder to see. So True. Uh, when hubcaps to, fall, it's easier the MAN, to see. Right? Man doesn't have. I can see it more visible. Oh, I can. I know on which car it's quite visible on this one here. Ah, yeah, the wheels car? are different. Mm -hmm. So, um, American truck might have smaller holes there. Yeah. Uh, um, I guess the, it does. Uh, then it's harder to see. We increased how fast it happens. It's, it's a bit faster than but the real life. Mm hmm. But mine are already overheated. Can you see that? I'm gonna yeah, try yeah, to go a bit faster it. and then uh, put. Yeah, go faster and then full brake and focus on the wheels. They should. Uh, I mean, full brake to the stop, stopping point. Then yeah, I'm trying to go really uh, fast now. And then I. Then you will see them glowing, especially the front wheels should glow a bit more if you do that. Yeah. And uh, when they are overheated, uh, they also reduce uh, the braking power also is lost uh, how you many can percent lose 75 percent can be lost so right. it, it only applies brake a quarter of what it should be applying but only the overheated wheels so like if you have six wheels and only the front two are overheated uh, the rear four wheels uh, should keep keep going and it's also not like 75 percent loss i mean it's also you can still go to a stop if you aren't going uh, a huge decline. Then you sh you can always stop your vehicle even though it's overheated. No, no, I realize that. Yeah, nice, cool, awesome. We showed that. We also added that when you pause the game, it wasn't. I mean, sometimes yeah, imagine you you need to uh, pause the game for a moment, check your smartphone, and then continue. Um, when you p pause the game on multiplayer, you cannot pause the game because True, it, yeah. it just <laughs> has to continue. Then uh, your truck was falling backwards uh, because of the because you aren't applying brakes or gas anymore. It was just falling down. Now the game also automatically applies brakes uh, when you pause in multiplayer. Oh, that's awesome. By the way, we are also working on the chassis of this truck currently. Uh, Archie, the artist Gustavo is working on that. On the what? Um, chassis. Um, I'm not sure if I'm uh. spelling it correctly, but I'm in mean the lower part of the ah, okay. uh, dump, yeah. dump, dump bucket. I mean, mm -hmm. everything below the dump bucket, uh, we call it the chassis. Mm -hmm. um, and it's right now uh, getting improved. Um, it won't be included in this update, but in future updates, it will as a it will have a new chassis and new suspensions. Oh, cool. Awesome. Um, although it's hard to see uh, with this truck, uh, it's easy to see it with uh, newer. Uh, with the semi trucks, it's easier to see the chassis. But in future, um, we are also uh, we are planning a future DLC right now about recovery trucks. Um, recovery trucks are those trucks that have. Um, that that are made to recover like uh, broken trucks in the roads. Like uh, imagine a truck that's broken. I mean, its engine isn't working anymore, or it's it fell down uh, at the side of the road or whatever. Mm -hmm. It got stuck to mud. Uh, those recovery trucks can tow them. They they also have cranes. 
Uh, we are working on something like that. Uh, we are right now in planning phase for that. Um, but it's it will make a huge role play improvement for our game. Mm -hmm. Like when we actually do that, um, we are going to uh, in a, in multiplayer convoys, one of the players can be a recovery truck. Mm -hmm. uh, then imagine you are out of field. Instead of uh, clicking that recover button uh, and paying for the refill, um, that player can come by you and help you on refilling. Then you don't you don't pay anymore. Then um, you get refilled by another player. Mm -hmm. Okay. And same for re repairing as well. So that recovery truck will also able to repair awesome. um, other players around them. And um, we are also going to think about how we can do, like, uh, if it can use also its crane to pull other players that fell down or uh, are laying on their sides or upside down with their vehicle, uh, that recovery truck if that recovery truck can um, upright them. Um, we'll also work on that, but mm -hmm. I'm not yet certain. Uh, so it's not yet certain if we can include that uh, mm -hmm. in multiplayer, because in multiplayer it's a very complicated thing to synchronize, like pulling another vehicle with your crane. It's quite difficult. That but if it, if, cool. it, if, it, if it works, that would be very cool mm. in our game to have that. Definitely. Yeah. Right. Uh, all the hills you can see around you, you can climb to all of them. Uh, but with this hill, we have this off-road track kind of thing, mm -hmm. uh, which is really fun. Um, when we work on the map expansion, we can perhaps have more of these. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also a ramp here. Uh, can you see that? Yes, I can see it. <laughs> uh, you so need to have a lot of like speed, right? You try to go yes, over it, uh, yes. You need you need a lot of speed and it's hard for hard with the manual transmission you have <laughs> but <laughs> in have past, for example this area also had small rocks in the environment uh we remote them so there's only grass now um because pe players had struggled um when they are going fast to the ramp and they were just crashing to a rock at the ground mm-hmm okay Let's take some distance and then... Yeah, come all the way. And then try to time your shifts, <laughs> I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you do that... Okay. Then How I, do I time I'm, my shifts? Uh, I mean, like, you can look at the Dreytal. Mm. <laughs> and uh, when it's going up... Uh, after some value, you can just shift up. Um, mm. That way, you can go as fast as possible. Yeah, that's good. That's got you got some speed. <laughs> okay, but well yeah. now what's happening now? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna crash. Ooh, we're just gonna crash. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely came further. Will there be Easter eggs in game? Um, Easter eggs. Um, so we we currently only have the golden palette system, which is not entirely an Easter egg, I guess. Uh, some Easter eggs are uh, there are some crashed aircraft uh, in some off-road routes. Um, it's a, it's actually an Easter egg, so. Uh, there are some propeller planes who are crashed on the hills um, and sometimes there's also a camp light next to them so they we have put them in the environment as easter eggs so players can perhaps search for them and we also put um, we also replaced golden pallets usually next to them so you can also collect golden pallets um, yeah other than those i guess we don't have any other easter eggs <laughs> 